Yo, 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 it's your boy. All right, JSP. Today, I thought what would be quite good to do is because a lot of what I'm seeing on Instagram and the feedback I'm getting from people who are in lockdown at the moment, which is everyone, uh, is that fitness-wise, one of the main struggles is diet. What can I eat to lose weight? What foods are healthy foods? I don't know anything about nutrition, Ross. Can you help me? So I thought I'll give you a, a glimpse of the foods I get. This isn't a full-blown shop because we have some of the things at home already. I'll sort of explain when I've got them, why I get them and why they're good. Nutrition is something I haven't covered too much on my on my channel and it's, it, it's quite difficult to do. So obviously I'm on my cut right now. I'm trying to trim down some body fat. So these are the foods that are specifically targeted, like low calorie foods, you know, but you could eat these year round, bulking or not. They're just healthy, whole foods, high protein, good, healthy, complex carbs. Things like that. I'm not gonna ramble. Here you go. Here's a little montage of what I get from Sainsbury's. Yeah, I let you cross, buddy, because I'm a nice person. Here are some of the foods that I got from Sainsbury's. I'll explain why I got them. Bear in mind, this isn't a full food shop because I got a lot of this stuff at home already. Have a sneak peek into my bag for life. Got some bean sprouts. I've also got some stir fry veg as well. These are the two rice packets I got today. I've got multiple of them, but it's Thai jasmine rice and basmati rice. Now you can not be lazy and uh, just boil your own rice, but yeah, I don't. I love just microwaving it. Meat sauces, I've gone for, so fish is my my favorite meat sauce at the moment. I'm having a lot of fish. Two cod fillets, I normally have haddock and, uh, haddock and salmon. Yeah, haddock and smoked salmon, um, but they were way too expensive in there today and I couldn't get the ones I normally get. Another meat sauce of mine is chicken breast. Of course, eggs. I don't really like eggs that much, but I try and get them in for some fats. So just for a little sweets, now this is for mum, but I sometimes do this. Sugar-free jelly, there's like hardly any, I think there's like no calories in that or like nine calories or something stupid. I've got a sweet tooth, this will like ease your sweet cravings. And then standard fruits and veg, I've got some bananas down there. Um, yeah, bananas in the other bag, I've got some oranges. Now, the reason those are good, obviously the fish, the chicken breast, lean, 5% fat, mince meat and turkey mince. One, they have an exceptionally high amount of protein in them. For a bodybuilder, that's vitally important to get your protein in but for any anyone i think you should be getting your protein in, especially if you're into the gym and you want your your muscles to grow and recover get your protein in the other thing is they're very low in calories especially fish fish and, uh, and turkey mince and stuff like that low in calories very filling protein is filled with your amino acids and your fiber and stuff that fills you up the bulk of my meals will have a protein source fish mince chicken and a carbohydrate source for me, it's rice, as you saw. I have a lot of rice. The reason being is I personally digest rice really well. Rice, you can get quite a lot of it for a low amount of calories as well. It's very filling food. You can have some cod, rice, and veg, and you've got a big plate, and it's only a few hundred calories, you know? So for me, rice is my go-to carb source, but you can have sweet potato, jacket potato, pastas, but just be careful how much you use because the calories add up. So I'd weigh them raw before they're cooked, work out how many calories and you know what macros they're giving you and um, go from there. And veg, you know, the, the bean sprout stir fry, so easy just to fry that up and, and you've got some got some veg there. I've also got some more veg at home. When you're dieting, if you do like veg, fill your plate up with it because they've got piss all calories in it, filled with fiber, great source of carbohydrates and they'll fill you up for hours. Fats, healthy fats. Eggs can contribute towards healthy fats. Now for, for men, you wanna have minimum 50 grams of fat in your diet, if not more, for healthy hormone function. Keep an eye on it, keep those healthy fats at a decent level uh, and your body will thank you for it. When it comes to snacks, what I didn't really show you is what I snack on. If I do snack, it tends to be on something like rice cakes or protein shake, something like that fill you up, little amount of calories. If you want any questions of nutrition, if you want a nutrition plan or anything like that, do sell those. They're, they're quite cheap, 20 pound for a nutrition plan. I can explain to you what macros and all are, so just slide into the DMs on Instagram, we can get that sorted. Otherwise, if you want any free advice, that's fine. Get them to, uh, get to my Instagram, slide in the DMs, and I'm happy to help you with anything. They're my go-to foods at the moment. I have a list of meats, a list of carbs, but for me at the moment, rice is my go-to carb just because I digest it really well. A list of fats, which is for me only salmon, and eggs, I don't really like, and avocado, 
avocado. I don't really like many other fat foods. Definitely a carb man myself. I love my carbohydrates. Drinks, I go for no sugar squash, water, tea, or zero calorie like Pepsi Maxes they are absolutely fine. Zero calories, can't go wrong with that, okay? It's all about calories in versus calories out and a nice macro balance with that. You know, I like to have high carbohydrates so I function well with a lot of energy. Um, a healthy amount of fat so my hormone function as well, but I keep my fats as low as possible whilst feeling good. And my protein, I'm at about 220 grams. If you wanna work out how much protein you should have, find your weight in pounds. It's one gram of protein per pound of body weight. I have a little bit more than that. That's it for the nutrition part of this video. Please, if, you, if this has been helpful for you in any way, give it a like, subscribe, peace. Ba -ba 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 -boo! And I'm back with protein. I'll actually open it here. Let's have a look. Oh, I got it. This is the raw one. Raw one whey flavor is frozen banana. Also, look at this, man. They gave me a free can of Hyde pre-workout cherry cola flavor, which I know are very popular down at the gym Peak Penzance with a nice little customized thing. So shout out to Supplement Mad. Let's go, let's go home and try that bad boy. Oh, it does taste good. You have to try it, mum. I, I won't like it. You're gonna try it, you're gonna like it. This is the one. This is the one you're finally gonna like. It is the next day now. As you can see, the weather is absolutely glorious. I'm gonna end the video there, I'm gonna wrap it up. It's not a proper nutritional video, it's more just an insight as to how I tackle nutrition and what, what works for me and what I'm doing in my current cut. I will be documenting the cut more vividly in the coming videos i'm going to start the next season of cutting with ross the last one was very good i really enjoyed making the last one before the holiday and now it's going to be like a lockdown cut i'm going to wrap it up there and enjoy my day in the sun if you have liked the video please give it a like that helps so much please subscribe to the channel let me know any requests for any future videos you want me to do otherwise i hope you have a great day hopefully i have a great day in the sun and get some tan finally and peace i'll see you in the next one Woo!